Hi, I'm Sine Inc. And here are my two studio assistants. This is Levi, he's a uh, junior first day today, so be really gentle with him. He's not knowing how these um, unboxes go, but he knows that the cardboard must be eaten. Then we have our senior, Ruka. There is the... I ordered Japanese nip, which is like a brass type of nip. Oh, then we have some tea. What is it? That. Then we got the thank you note, and there's some studios. Uh, they do all kind of regular advice, which is always good to include. Their packaging is absolutely beautiful. Like, uh, we have the, I think this is the Lumos. No, this is the fountain pen. I ordered their pocket fountain pen, which the Japanese brush will go. And this is the Lumos. Oh, this is quite heavy. Uh, Levi, I can see a thing. Your nose is on the way. Yeah, this is the Lumos. So these both are like special type of pens and I will actually show this more on my table because I will ink it, ink them up, brew some tea. So here we are with at the desk. I have the tea in the thermos mug, also pens and the Japanese stick. Let's open this up because this was the main reason I got the fountain pen. Um, Ooh, interesting. The reason being, I have been really wanting to find good brown brush pen, but it's got a feed structure. I, I don't know how it works, but we shall see because I will change the, that need there. Um, then just just talk about the fountain pen first. I got their pocket fountain pen. Actually, I don't remember the color I picked. I think it was black. Yeah. So this is black. It's quite heavy. And for the size comparison, here is the Kaweco Sport. Oh, it's the same size. But it's much heavier. This is uh, all metal construction. I can. I don't know where my. How does it open it? Yeah. Is it? No. no. It's not opening. Ah, uh, packaging it. Oh! The, oh! That looks scary. So, with this converter, you can pull ink directly into the chamber and you don't need to dip the front in the. A piston is super smooth. I have never operated this smooth piston in the converter. Okay, so I had to look another review, and you should be able to pull this out. There is no, like, oh my god, it, ah, that sound made me hurt. The nip is fine. Uh, it has extra fine flex nip. I think I will use it first with this nip, and then try the hot swap the. Japanese. But that gap mechanism is definitely something I'm not liking. Uh, I'm actually terribly afraid to put it back together. And there are scratches of the ink. Ah, you can put the converter in the pen because the body is so short. And I think I don't have empty cartridge because all of my because I use those with the Kaweco, so we need to go with this private cartridge. Sad because I was wanting to have it brown ink. So we need to let it sit down. I'm terrified to cap this pen. Like, it was a terrible feeling to uncap it. <laughs> Little pressure. Definitely, um, at first I was actually worried that how... That sound, that sound is horrible. I was worried about slipper section. Yeah, it's slipper, it's metal. I don't like metal sections. They, they usually... Make me grab the pen like even more and my hands start to cramp. So why you get this then? So this is probably for the filling the cartridges because the converter cannot fit this pen. Okay. Definitely I'm not a fan of that capping me mechanism. But this is not a review, I just use like first impressions. My first impression is that the capping mechanism is horrible. Then we have the Lumos, which I'm more 
this was the like the main part of my order. I was thinking uh, not getting the fountain pen, but because I wanted to try the Japanese brush nip on that one, I got it. Like how? <laughs> I can't operate today like that. I get this really. Oh, it ripped. Oh, there's ink. Small, small, small bottle of ink. This is cute. Absolutely cute. Small black ink bottle. Um, maybe I should use that with this pen. At first I was going to ink this with my own ink bottle. Let's see how it... How this one looks. This one is uh, the Lumos Pro. And it has matte aluminium. It's quite long. It's really long. Okay. It feels off. Oh. Well, it dress as well. Mm -hmm. So, let's see it. Uh, there. Oh! More stuff! Okay. So. Here we have the Lumos full tip set, okay, and there we have silicone tip grip. Get a hold of the nips without getting inky fingers. Okay, that sounds good. Hmm. Again, same packaging material. There's no instructions. Like il illustration is beautiful, but I, I like instructions. Like, where are they? This was Tampa special pens. I would need instructions, and then there's instructions when I don't need them. <laughs> I feel stupid. They are probably somewhere. I just, so there's no gap. I I got this one because I was uh, think because I usually use two two widths when I'm inking. So this piece awfully long. <laughs> I was I was being happy with just the ha ha one half of this pen. <laughs> Yes, the um, other way around it feels. Also, threads are really squeaky. So, how you operate with the... Oh, this one opens as well. Okay. <clears throat> how you feel this? It's... It has... Uh, cloth type of material inside. So yeah, because this is like this is not like fountain pen, it's more like refillable fine liner. I think you probably need to fill this one. There's probably similar on this end. This one has more creepy material. Like it's it's really even if it's metal it's just really creepy. So we have the silicone creep tip. We have the nips. Do I need to put the nip first or not? Okay. I really don't want to pause this video again and look for reviews because I think that shouldn't be mandatory step when you're using front of Or any pens. Because it's so annoying. Like This is something I would like to see how it's used. Because it's kind of special. Okay. Oops, one nip. Drop it. Nope. So we have the nips in place. Yeah. We have a full set. One, zero point one. 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.5, 0 0.8, and 1. And then there's brush. These are foamy chisel and a felt tip. Uh, what I personally use in inking are actually 0 0.3 and also 0 0.5. But I was thinking maybe I add the brush on the other end because that is something I would... It's quite hard as the brush tip, but let's see how it goes. 
this I, I was planning this to be a quick video, but I'm I'm so sorry it doesn't it I know it not will not be the quick video. Should I like unscroll this even more? I, I'm worried that I will lose this or it will be <laughs> this is definitely a video video I should I should be not filming with the dogs because I feel these small parts would Levy would eat them. Okay, this part even opens. Should I put the nip there? Maybe. At least my inner engineer tells so. Yep. There's a place for put something because there's the slit. And this means when you screw this on, it will like squeeze a bit. So if you can like wedge something here. But I personally feel that you shouldn't you should be able to use these without decreeing engineering. I feel a little bit resistance. How long should I put this? I'm guessing that's the right way. And then this one locks. Okay, now the mechanism is clear. Clear is the day. But how do you feel this? Like, do you put the dropper? There's no dropper include. Just dunk this in the ink. Should I use only this ink or is this waterproof or not? I don't know. Let's let's go. <laughs> I it's not a ple uh, pleasant experience. Okay, this one is the same slit. Let's go with this one. Okay, this material this is completely felt, so it's a bit different. Focus, yeah. But let's hope it should work the same way. Nope, there's resistance. Please go there, please. Don't, 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 don't. It feels really... This was more tougher to put inside. Then we are screwing this end cap here. And I to with this one I had to be really careful because there's the brush. There's not much space on the opening. I have no idea how ah! ink coming to my fingers. I don't I, I don't like inky fingers. I don't know is this enough. It looks like it's inked. Let's put it inside. Screw it on. Wow, oh, I got ink on my fingers. And then let's put the cap on. Minimize the mess. And then let's take this one. At least the tip has turned black. So I assume it's ready to go. Where's the cap? Oh, there's no other cap. Oh. Because the other end like rotated inside. Let's put this tip collection carefully back, like so. And the silicone grip I didn't even open. Lost the ink bottle. So far, it hasn't been pleasant experience. It so far it has been feeling like I'm, I'm, I don't like. Even if I'm engineer, like a master of science, kind of thing, but anything is it's like. Uh, engineer like upper engineer or something like that i i don't feel comfortable to handle this was qu quite expensive i think the it was around 100 euros like per pen or something like that but i feel i would like to have some instructions these are quite special ones, so you can't assume people know how how you could use this this loom is way too long 
I feel it. It's it's like awfully long and top heavy because there's the other other part of pen. I don't know why they do, didn't include the like two caps because then I could open it up the middle. But then I think it would be a problem with drying. So yeah, it, it could be much shorter. I was actually thinking, uh, yeah, it, it's it's too long. It actually feels a little bit like uh, in longevity, like the sailor sailor pens, uh, food and nips. These are also awfully long, but it isn't that that bad because these are completely plastic, so they are they have weight down here. But since this are, this is metal and I have a gap here. And the other nip part here, it's it's top heavy. That doesn't feel good on my hand. So this was the Lumos brush nip. So far so good. It's even if it's felt, it's really it's really soft. You can do. Not super fine lines, this felt, felt nip usually don't do that fine line, but thick line and thin line. About the ink, it's black. What else I can say about that? Let's see how it works. On the... I'm more interested in the fine liner size because fine liners are something I still use even if I'm fond of a user, and I hate that I need to. Uh, Rebuy the whole pen, and they are disposable. So this is the Lumos Pro. Oh, eyeliner. So far, so good. It feels like a fine liner, which is actually a good thing. It doesn't feel dry. I have another refillable fine liner that has brought me that it feels dry. This one doesn't feel dry at all. It's quite quite good. I was again looking for another cap, but I don't have another cap. I need to open this. I just need some silicone grease there. Sounds horrible. Screaking horrible. But how you are just on this end? Like this one is now open. So the ink will dry inside. Because the... I think... No, there's actually a disc. So it's like... Uh, not open, I guess. There's... Is there end cap? What we could use for poking it? Let's use brush. Yeah. So there is something, some kind of cover on the end of it. So ink is not drying, but it's awfully long. And ne next for the pocket phantom pen, if it has, if the ink has deeper than it. Let's open this up. And I hate this mechanism. I hate it. Oh my god. I hate the sound when the metal touches inside. Because I, as engineer, and in the work, I know that that's bad sound because it means that something going into bro broke soon if you hear like metal against metal. So hearing that sound when I open open up found that it brings up more like bad. What? This is really slippery. This whole section. There is some kind of ripping there, but it's still super slippery. Okay, it's writing. It's really fine. Did I write it right? Yeah, Tom Studio. This is extra fine, definitely extra fine. Very smooth nip. Mm, this was also flex nip. Which is, I assume there's like these cuts on the side and long slit here, so it should flex quite a bit. But currently I'm liking that it's super fine. It's really smooth. 
So it definitely tuned, tuned Nick. Yeah, I actually tilted it because the pen is really slippery. So let's see how it goes with the flex. It's flex decent an amount. Uh, what I say about the modern flex nip is that they will be always a bit stiff. Uh, this is something you shouldn't be doing because this will mean you get hand very inky because there's no ink on the section. We have open. But I will show it how you can do it without making much mess. Moving the ink bottles here around. So grab a cloth and put uh, like two times is fine. Then if you just keep the cloth there, you will get inky fingers because this is porous material. Then grab something that is non-porous. I would say something like plastic, soft plastic. Works well. If we can find something. Oh, there are some stickers. I don't take that. Um, let's go with this one. So we put the, this soft part inside. Then something that doesn't get ink through. Hold it gently. And be mindful what spots are inky. Like this section outside is fine. This part might be inky, but it seems to be clean. But we still are playing it through, so I'll just like drop it there. Like a little bit ink on the fingers, but not that bad. You see some of the seed through the cloth. Now we know this is not inky, and this is also not inky because it's clean. So we can screw it there. Then. Again, mindful, but are inky, so convert uh, cartridge. Let's wait. <laughs> also, um, how I use pocket pens. I usually don't even screw the cap. Like this pocket pen doesn't even have a screw on cap. It's long enough for me to use without the back cap, but this back cap is metal, so if I put it here, the pen is awfully long. Again, like, like what, like it's, it's as awful long as this one, and it is even heavier because this one is like thicker metal, and also this section is slippery. So this is the Japanese brush nip. It's a bit dry, but it might be because I didn't ink it correctly. Also because I don't have instructions. This feels like something quite close to Copic nip, nip actually, like the Copic Seals. Ink comes as grey because it's not saturated. Oh, don't mind that. Can do thin and thick lines. These kind of felt nips are not my favorite type of brush nip. I usually like more of the the ones that have like hair because they can actually flex more. Because with these ones you don't get that much line variation. And also tips worn down fast. But you could you this was looking to be like rotatable rotatable. So I hate that capping mechanism. I must I hate that. Like I seriously hate also that sound. That's I, I, I bring it closer, like now it's capped. And then that 
That's horrible. It was even more horrible when there was the fountain pen nip inside. So, here are the two pens. And what are my first impression of these ones? Not good, I must say. Uh, I don't recently have many like disappointments with this special type of fountain pens. Uh, so I was quite of expecting this, which was a bit sad. But this one, way too long. I should. I think there's option for the one that it, it wasn't like dual ended. But I want to try the dual ended because the like advantage to having two nips, but this is way too long. So I probably end up using just a, like one part of it. Is that? Is there like? There? Oh. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know is there end cap or not. Is this a different? Yeah, this side is different, but there I'm not sure is there end cap or not. So this side I could use as separate pen. But then it's that bit too short. Well, it's long enough for me, but uh, definitely definitely a bit weird. I was actually thinking. But yeah, there's the cap thingy there, because I would like to be able to screw the this unit inside this one, but I think the foam part is too long, so I could have like this sort pen dual ended. Probably not possible. It's a bit better if I have it like this way. But as but definitely in the full size, it's not so good. Also, I still complain that there should have been instructions. Was there instructions? Like, at least there was a lot of writing, but I think it was just like not the instruction. Yeah. There's like cleaning instructions, all the sculpting. Mm. There's some kind of story there. And the illustration. It says what this include, but also about the design. Maybe it's the QR code I should have scanned beforehand. But well, maybe they're saving paper. I think it's a bit odd place to save. Because they have the booklet there. Is the use of the packing material? Yeah, I enjoy the pretty illustrators, but I would much rather have something more useful there. Like the instructions how to use the pen. Especially especially on the Lumos because So yeah, that was my I will have like proper review of these ones when I give them some use. And but my first impression is that it's not it might not be positive. <laughs> it was really hard to uh hard to get in use, especially the Lumos one. They are also a bit too long and both of them are quite pocket. This is quite good for pocket pen. So heavy. And also I don't like the capping mechanism at all. So yeah, that was it. And let me know in comments below, do you have the Tom's 
studio pens or do you have any of that these type of speciality fountain pens and how you are feeling about those because i'm interested i'm actually going to do a video about them soon and there will also be like some end like extra stuff so there will be all of those bloopers which we have and i was trying to film this with uh Ruka and levy so enjoy our senior Ruka. yeah he's good boy Levi, don't drop it. Uh, uh, sorry, Ruka, no, no kissing. Let's see how this goes. Uh, Ruka, Ruka, Ruka. No, no stealing treats. Hi. Hey, 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 hey. Uh.